Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So for today's vlog, I am going out for the first time in my car in probably about three weeks. Three weeks? Maybe two weeks. Two to three weeks anyways. I have to do groceries. I have to drop off a return at the mailbox. And also I have to do a couple of like just Porsche drop off deliveries for my clients because there's some things that they need. And also because I gotta pay my bills. I have everything arranged so that I'm not seeing any of my clients. And... I am off to do some groceries for the first time since all this craziness has started. The thing is, I don't know what to expect because all the other times Nelson has been doing the groceries, so I have a huge list on my phone of things I need to buy. And at this point, I'm not even looking really for a great deal. I just want to make sure I have stuff for my family. My goal is to buy three to four weeks of groceries so I don't have to step foot into another grocery store because apparently they're supposed, there could be another spike within the next two weeks because it is a critical time. And during that time, I don't want to step out of my house except for an essential doctor's appointment than Nathaniel has. A couple things that I did, which normally I wouldn't do, I'm using my daughter's water bottle because A, it's smaller so I drink less water so I don't have to pee because I really don't want to use a public restroom. And also two, I don't want to have to touch it. So I literally, it's going to stay in the car so I can take a swig whenever I need it. I took an allergy pill ahead of time so hopefully it'll prevent me from like touching my face too much after I go out. So off to do some deliveries, post office, bank, and a bunch of other stuff. So after every transaction, I am basically hand sanitizing my steering wheel and hands. Next one. Okay, I am now at Shoppers. I'm dropping off a parcel and I'm gonna see if there's just like a little bit of grocery stuff that I can get. Plus one of my customers wants me to see whether or not I can pick up any toilet paper for her. Got toilet paper and I got a couple of other essentials. Um, I got some baby food because Nathaniel just started solids and I got something else but I can't remember off the top of my head right now. The store was really quiet which is great and the, oh my god the postal service worker was so sweet so nice and because I, I go to her quite often and she you know had a nice little chat with me with um and now they have like a shield like a barrier which I think is amazing and then there's signs all over the floors and all over the place about keeping your distance so it's really great. I think it's all in my mind, but my nose is insanely itchy. I don't want to scratch it. I'm not going to scratch it. Mind over matter. All right, off to the next thing. Seriously, that's been my constant playlist, listening to the news. So I finished all of my drop-offs, and now I am going to brave the grocery stores. Got off the phone with my mom. She's doing well. Her tenants it being amazing, going to the post office for her and also picking up some, you know, per uh, perishables, which has been amazing, like so kind. And so I don't have to worry about her too much. Um, but I know she misses the kids, the kids miss her a lot too. I miss her. Now I'm on to Centra to see if I can get some Asian veg. The lighting is weird. I apologize. Okay. So first off, I got to figure out whether or not I can still use my phone with the gloves on. Okay, great, it works. I don't wanna hear any like hate comments or anything, but I am wearing gloves and I'm going to have my mask ready. I have my hand sanitizer. The other thing I'm gonna do, to, I have my credit card in my wallet. Let me say, I have my credit card out of my wallet so that it's just in my pocket. I don't need to touch it. I need to get a loony ready for the carts. And we're set to go. The thing is, I did see the them spraying down the the baskets. There's notices everywhere. successful got a bunch of stuff I do feel like some of the prices have definitely gone up a lot disinfect you so that was pretty good um I got a lot of things that I needed 
and um, a couple of extra just like stock up a little bit more on the pantry. I do feel like some of the prices did go up a bit. Like rice was $40 for a bag, which I think is really crazy. Um, there had some cheaper options. Those have all definitely gone up. Overall, people pretty much kept their distance. There were a couple of people that were kind of like impatient and so they would cut in while you're waiting for someone else to finish in a section. But overall, people are really nice. The cashiers are amazing. So yeah, so $88 for five bags of groceries is pretty good i think bought some things i've never tried before but i figured if i'm cooking at home we might as well be a little bit adventurous so now let's go to walmart the line was actually wasn't too long they let in like maybe 10 people a lot of the things have been restocked i actually just met a lady who seemed really nice but she was just like she thinks it's a hoax so i was like i don't know what that Ooh, brown sugar that's a little too much brown sugar. Can't believe it. it's cheaper here than it's at a Chinese grocery store. It's a little confusing. They're limiting at one, but the deal is two for eight. But we've been going through peanut butter like super fast. Coffee, 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 coffee. I feel like you have to be really careful because things are priced really oddly right now. Like, for example, I saw this and I was like, oh great, but it's not. It's this. So things are like in the wrong places. Same thing with the baking powder. I was like, oh my gosh, it's the big one for 267, but it really wasn't. It's actually still not bad. And they are limiting one. I've never bought so much groceries in my life. I just finished. I think I was in there for probably like two hours or so. I have to pee like a wild dolphin. Like, oh my god, I have to pee so badly. Um, I need to get gas and then I can go home and unpack, sanitize everything. And I'll do a video on that too, um, but probably after I shower and feed my son. So I'm so glad I came when I came because now the lineup to get into Walmart is wrapping around the side of the building. I got pretty much everything I wanted to get. There's a couple of things I didn't get, but it's like not one of those you know, anything that'll make that huge of a difference. I know it looks like a lot of stuff, guys, but hopefully it'll last us for about four weeks. I really want to try not to have to go out at all, except for Nathaniel's vaccinations. I have to get gas. I have to say the price of gas is insane. That's incredible. It cost me less than $25 to fill up the tank of gas. Basically the experience of it was great. Everyone was so orderly. I think everyone was just trying to be as positive as possible. <laughs> it was so cute. This one older gentleman and I, we kept passing each other and uh, we were just like exchanging laughs saying how we have to stop meeting up like this and this last time, blah, blah. It was really, it's just, I think people are also just kind of glad to be out and I have to admit although I am definitely pro stay home um, it was nice to get out for a little bit because I really haven't been out in a really long time there was toilet paper there was tons of meat tons of vegetables there were a couple of things that were out of stock like paper towels were all gone and uh, I did see any Lysol wipes besides that everything was pretty much in stock there was tons of formula now and they're limiting people for the formula so that makes a huge difference I wonder though for people who like parents of multiples that must be hard they have twins or triplets one box won't last them very long luckily Nathaniel mostly breastfeeds it's just I don't quite produce enough milk so I do top up um, we usually top up like one bottle or so a day overall I'm I was really impressed like really really impressed I was worried that you know some people would make some like stupid style remarks because I know in, in certain areas there is definitely a prejudice against um, Asians right now and I don't want to get too much into that but it just um, and 
oh my gosh, I read a an article yesterday and it was infuriating. So guys, just be kind. I know everyone's stressed out. Be kind to one another more so than ever right now. We need to be kind to each other. Humanity needs us to be kind right now. But anyways, let's unpack my car. I'm almost home. Let's unpack my car and then you'll see me in a bit and I'll show you what I got. Hello. I missed you so much while I was out grocery shopping. I missed you. Oh, thanks, honey. So I'm back at home. It is now, it's just past 5.30. Um, I ate and showered because basically what I'm doing is I get home and I wash, like I cleaned off everything. So I disinfected everything. And then also I take a shower so that I'm also physically clean as well to make sure I just don't bring anything into the house. I know it might sound a little bit extra to people, but I mean, like it just makes me feel better. So let's do this really quickly because I need to put it all away afterwards and then make dinner. So here we go. We have quite a substantial haul, don't you think? Do we have a lot of stuff, Moy? Yeah, lots of stuff. And even Daddy buys so much stuff. Yeah, so much stuff. So I'm not going to go through all the prices because that's going to take up a lot more time. And also, like, honestly, price wasn't the, the main, main thing on my mind. I was more focused on just making sure we had things that we needed. And I, like I said, I know it looks like it's a lot of stuff, but honestly, it's going to last us for at least three weeks. The only thing I'm going to have to go back to get will probably be milk because they were limited one bag of milk per family. And so I know we do go through about a bag every eight days or so, like a bag of like the four liter bags, but I still have two bags of milk in my fridge right now. So that should last us like maybe three weeks. Or maybe two weeks? Uh, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. We might have to look up some non-milk baking activities. Everything I had, I brought today. The only things I don't have is a bag of milk in the fridge. And then also in here, I had bought some other meats. I just want to keep it in the fridge. So I bought some minced pork. I bought two things of chicken breast. And then back here, way back here, I had bought some um, pork bone to make soup with. The other things I got is I got three of these little tofus. These are really good for stir fries. So I usually just make like a, a mapo tofu out of that. In my freezer, I did, this was a bit of a, a splurge. I bought some Angus beef pre-made frozen burgers um, because it is getting warmer and... With the nicer weather, we're going to be wanting barbecue. So Nelson said he could fire up the grill. But yeah. Oh yeah, if I ever show you guys my fridge, this is my fridge. I love this fridge. It's like a four compartment fridge. Well, four door fridge. Um, but this one here could be either a fridge or a freezer. So I really do like that. The other things I don't have here because I already put them away. I bought some feminine hygiene products that you don't really need to see. But if you want to see it, I could show you some the next time I buy it. If this is going to be vlog style, you're going to hear a bunch of noise in the background. Don't mind my messy house. You'd think that I have a cleaner house with all the time that I'm spending at home, but honestly, I'm trying to homeschool Ginevra too, and it's a lot of work. All right, here we go. Let's get at this. So I want to tell you the full total at the very, very end. So we bought another thing of flour. We got this stuff. It's so yummy. Oh my God, it's so good. We tried two other kinds already, and this one is our favorite, the Hazelnut International Delight coffee whitener it is yummy be warned it is very sweet though so you don't need to add sugar to your coffee We've got a thing of jello so we can make What's, jello what is in here? jello jello powder Jello powder. yeah you can make strawberry jello mm. i can teach you how to make strawberry jello so we can make a jello dessert treat from that maybe if you if you go to the shop again maybe they will have <laughs> jello, chocolate um Jello powder. Maybe, maybe. I didn't see any chocolate jello powder. Dream Whip because she likes Cool Whip and whipped cream. But the problem with that is that I don't have a lot of fridge space. I only have this one fridge. And then I do have a chest freezer downstairs. But I don't have that much fridge freezer space considering I am trying to shop in a way that I don't have to go out again for at least three weeks. Anyways, so, and then I bought these. These because they were on sale. We did buy the larger ones if you saw my last, one of my other video, uh, grocery haul videos. But these were on sale and they worked out to be a better price than the large ones. So I figured, you know, I'll just replenish it a little bit. I don't want to get too much, but we have been baking a lot more. The price of garlic has gone up. It's like almost, I don't know, it's, it feels like it almost doubled. But these two were $3 for two golden raisins and sultana raisins because they were on sale and I used them in my homemade 
granola, which I love. I bought two of the crunchy peanut butters because we've been going through peanut butter like crazy. We do have another one in my pantry that's not opened yet, but it is the smooth one. This I haven't had in years. This I got from Centra. It's fried dates with black bean sauce. I remember I used to really like this as a kid and it was super duper yummy. It was one of the only canned fish that I liked besides tuna. I bought some canned potatoes because there are some really simple canned potato recipes that my mom has showed me in the past, but it's for one of those just in case measures that we run on potatoes and I want to have a recipe with potatoes in it. Four cans of the great value diced tomatoes with no salt added. I never even noticed that they added salt into the diced tomatoes. That's in case, again, we don't have fresh tomatoes. And sometimes what if I'm putting something in to cook for a long time, like let's, or cook under high pressure, like in the Instant Pot, then what I'll do is I'll just add a can of diced tomatoes and use the other, the fresh tomatoes for another dish. So I bought both regular breadcrumbs and panko style breadcrumbs because I could make some breaded chicken with that. I like or, those. yeah, you, you've had it before. Yeah, so I play around with some recipes with that, or I can make my own meatballs with that because it's probably cheaper to make my meatballs than to buy them pre made. I got some extra of the canned corn. Normally I buy frozen corn, but because this time around, again, I just don't have a lot of freezer space, so I decided to buy some canned corn so we have some corn on hand. I like to throw in my spaghetti sauce. Uh, a package each of black sesame and white sesame. These are really yummy as a garnish. I bought some cheese. So there's the sliced black diamond cheddar cheese. This was the cheapest one and that's why I got it. I, I kind of go back and forth between black diamond and craft. They're all good. And then for um, baking, I bought another thing of butter. Butter, it, it was on sale, but it wasn't a great price. It was, I think, $4 oh. and something. But we need it. We usually use it for baking and making French toast and stuff. So it's good to have extra on hand. I still have like two in my fridge. But again, it's, we've been doing a lot of home cooking, a lot of baking. I bought both the mild cheddar cheese and I bought the um, pizza mozzarella cheese. So these ones here, I got two. Normally I would just buy one, but I got two because there was a sale, two for $8. And that's why we end up getting two. The other thing I want to put in the fridge quickly is this light and it says light and free grilled pineapple yogurt. Why it got my attention was because it's grilled pineapple yogurt. I love grilled pineapple. Pineapple is so delicious. And I've never had a grilled pineapple yogurt. So I also grabbed three cans of evaporated milk. Um, this is really yummy in tea and then also on top of jello. And then I can also use it in some baking recipes. Hopefully I can figure out a way to make it to use this instead of regular milk so that we end up using less of Ginevra's drinking milk. Moy loves to bake with these, the Pillsbury Crescent Rolls. So what we do with these is you can either add in um, like things like little sausages or we can add in chocolate. What do you want to add in it? Chocolate. Chocolate. So we can make like little chocolate cro uh, croissants. And they're really easy to make and they're just kind of really simple to make. I want um, two chocolate ones okay. and, and one sausage one. Oh, we can talk about that. So another thing you do is you can layer two of these and it's really, really yummy. My husband and I, we made it one time before we had kids. But you put in, let's say... Um, you put one layer down as a base and then on inside of it you're going to put in some filling so it could be like a pizza filling or it could be let's say like ground beef and vegetables and then you put another layer on top and it becomes almost like um i can't remember what they're called like a panzerato so something along those lines but it's really really yummy it's just like it has this shell and it's delicious it's super yummy we can oh we can try to make ch chicken pot pie with that too anyways we're gonna play around with some recipes it was really on super sale it was like under a dollar each so which is like less than half price i also got some spices so i got two things of ground black pepper and because they had a sale on three for five dollars i got another thing of basil i decided that i really like putting basil in my spaghetti sauce I never knew. But yeah, so I got that. I can't remember if I talked about the canned pears. Um, it's in a light syrup. They're just yummy. They're just really yummy. I really loved canned pears and like canned peaches. It's bad. I know I should eat it fresh. I bought a dozen eggs. We have eggs in the fridge right now, but it's just to kind of top up our egg supply. Okay, next thing I got was I ended up getting um, some... I think it's called. This is really yummy. If you put it with some like minced meat and put it into a tofu dish or putting it into a noodle dish, it's really yummy. This one is a vegetarian one. I know that they do have one with shrimp in it, but because I have a shrimp allergy, that's why I don't use that one. I got 
two things of sesame oil. If you watch me, you know that I love sesame oil. This is our preferred brand, but I found out that Walmart actually carries pure sesame oil. So, and it's for like almost half the price. So I was like, okay, I'll give it a try. And if it's good, then we can always try out this one too. So I'll let you know how that goes later on. Baking powder, we got from Centra because I'm almost out. And then I was so happy to find this instant yeast because Walmart has been sold out of yeast for almost a month now, at least our local Walmart. And I, when I went again today, again, no yeast. So I got this one at Centra and I've never used this brand, but I've heard of, I've heard of this brand before and it says it's made in Canada. So it should be okay. Mm -hmm. This is a pound of instant yeast. Uh -huh, what is that? Cornstarch, I use it as a thickener as well as we also use it for some of our baking and it was on super sale. So I got two of those. And then this one I've never used before dried chickpeas so i guess i just rehydrate them and then do what i will with it we can throw these into curries both the lentils uh you don't mind it so both the chickpeas and the lentils i haven't made lentils before but my mom's made a lentil stew and it was delicious and my friend kaney she brought over a lentil soup one time and it was so good so we're going to try making some stuff with lentils onions i know this looks like a lot of onions i got one two three four i get these to stay forever they keep for a really long time i use onions in almost every single dish i just put them in a drawer and they last for a really long time and then of course bread so i bought three loaves of bread because that is the deal of it and then we end up getting um for nathaniel some i call, we call these mum mums but they're rice rusks so we uh, Gen i remember Geneva used to love these when she was little so we figured that we he could also try these soon ish if not already i also bought an extra thing of instant oat baby cereal we have the heinz one um i don't know if i've ever tried the gerber one but we're gonna give this one a try and then also i've been making porridge for him too but this is like one of those things it's just like a good base i can add things to like i can add mushed carrots to do it garbage bags because we need garbage bags this is something i've never tried before this is rice flakes i don't even know how to cook these to be honest with you i'm assuming i just soak them but i saw them i thought oh they looks kind of cool so let's give it a try so i'm going to be testing this out and then these are products we've used before this is the potato starch um sweet potato starch noodles these are super yummy like they they just have a really nice chew to it all the time and a really nice mouthfeel so you can use these in a stir fry or i put these into like some things that i braise too for like extra just texture i was able to get green works yay so this is my usual um all-purpose cleaner um and i use i've been using this one for years since it first came out and i remember the best deal i ever got was i got a dollar off coupon for one and they were on sale for like Three, two for three dollars or something so i ended up getting them for 50 cents each it was amazing i can't haven't found a deal like that in eons and eons and eons but yeah i really like this one um i'm going to be trying a new cleaner in the near future because uh, for those who don't know i i've been an avon representative for almost 14 years now and avon is now starting to carry cleaning lines so i'm going to be testing those out as well um snacks because we need to make life a little bit crunchy sometimes <laughs> So I just got a various forms of snacks. I have been obsessed with these. I got toothpaste for my daughter. We got some head and shoulders. I know it looks like a lot, but because it was on sale, it was like, it was something ridiculous, something like two or three dollars off. But I think they raised the price and then so that it's a little bit cheaper, but it still is cheaper than my, the regular price that I pay for it. So I got ended up getting four bottles. I still gain the scalp pimples, guys. I don't know what to do. I still get them. It's driving me nuts and they hurt. They hurt, they hurt, they hurt. So I bought four of these to that'll last me for, you know, like probably a good a year. Because I mean I don't always only use this. I use the um the chi hairline as well. Now I got this because Mr. is throwing his passy all over the floor. So we got this to hopefully prevent that from happening. We also got three packages of the instant ramen noodles for as a quick little snack or dinner if we ever need to and no we don't only just eat the ramen noodles we always add some vegetables some dumpling and some other stuff into it to make it a little bit healthier but it is really really tasty we got some dark brown sugar for because we're going to bake some cookies some chocolate chip cookies and then red rose tea normally my go-to choice is tetley but it was sold out 
all they had was decaffeinated Tetley, and that's not gonna, that's no buenos for me. I got two things of applesauce here, the unsweetened applesauce, because Ginevra, I make her eat applesauce every now and then, and instead of having these small containers that we use for school, it's more economical to buy the bigger ones, and then throwing them into um, into a little bowl. And also, you can pair this pair so nicely with pork chops, as well as I can make put this into muffins for added moisture. So I also got two of Nathaniel's body wash slash shampoo. Again, it was on sale and he's gone through about half of one. So these two should last him until he's at least a year old. So I'll be good for a while, right? Yeah. Maybe maybe he'll 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 stop using it until he is Maybe we will run it until he's two years old. Maybe, maybe. I don't know about two, but it'll be a or while. Maybe anyways. one year old. Maybe. Uh, I got a thing of olive oil. This was the last one of this one. I was so surprised. They had other brands, but we're, we're used to this brand. And I like, I mean, I like it. I'm not an olive oil connoisseur or anything. I don't know too much about it. I just know I put some in my pasta after I finish cooking it to keep it from sticking together. I don't even know how much it was. I just saw that it was the last one. I was like, oh. Poop. Let's grab it. Okay. So bananas, I got some of. I got them, and I always do this. I get them at different types of fit, like of it being done. So we'll be able to eat these two first, and then eat these ones a few days later. I got a white radish because I'm going to make a dish of oxtail stew with white radish and probably potatoes. That's something that Nelson really likes. I also end up getting a package of cremini mushrooms because Nelson loves cremini mushrooms. Just even just sautéed. It's so yummy. And then I bought a pumpkin. I haven't bought a pumpkin before. Uh, well, we, we call these in Chinese. My, my um, They told me it's called a pumpkin, but I know it's not a pumpkin. I can't remember what kind of squash that is. If you can tell me what kind of squash that is, let me know in the comments below. I think that's a guagua. A guagua? Yes, it is a guagua. Guagua means squash in Chinese. All right. I also got a head of Napa because it can stay for a long time. It's it's quite hearty. And I tried to get as much hearty vegetables as I could so that things would last for quite some time. Um, I got carrots. I went to center first and I they had the carrots for 99 cents a pound, which I was, I was like, eh, it's an okay deal. I mean, mind you, these are beautiful carrots. Um, because they are packaged two, do uh, two pound ones worth going for three dollars. So I was like, okay. And these were much nicer. So I was like, okay, let's get these. So I got seven of those. And then I went to Walmart and found the three pound bag for like two dollars and change. So I was like, oh, okay, well, that's cheaper. But like two, I think it's like 230 something. I mean, they don't look as pretty, but I mean, they'll, they'll still work in dishes. And Nathaniel's going to be starting to eat some pureed carrots. Medium sized bok choy. They had the really big ones and then they also had the really small ones. The the bigger they are, the cheaper they tend to be per pound. So I went for the happy medium here. And these are great. And then we're trying to grow these too. So that'll be kind of fun. I bought a pound of 10 pound of potatoes. Three of these guys. These are organic, ready to eat chestnuts. These are so yummy, guys. They make a really good snack. But not just that. I use these and I braise it with chicken. And it's super yummy. Add a little bit of oyster sauce. Yum, yum, yum. Oyster on top of rice. Oh. So good. Another bag of coffee. Now, why did I get this one? It was because it's the best deal. <laughs> it legit is the best deal. We are almost out of our Starbucks when we haven't opened up the the other Lavazza one, but I wanted to make sure we had coffee at home for the next month or so. Snow pea shoots. I've talked about this before. It's one of my all time favorite vegetables. Ginevra likes these too. And all you do is saute these with uh, some garlic. And if you want, you can even add in some um, dried scallops. But I can't eat scallops. So we just always have a garlic and we love it. It's delicious. For sauces, I also got the sweet chili sauce, which is really yummy for nuggets, and it's also really yummy as a marinade. And then I got an extra thing of light soy sauce because it was on sale for like 99 cents, and two huge things of ketchup. Normally, I would think that um, like French ketchup, like French's ketchup is cheaper, but Heinz, this size, I guess they had a promo on it, and it worked out to be cheaper per milliliter than the other one almost done guys thank you for staying on this long you guys are awesome part 
two things of parchment paper. I didn't want to. I I didn't want to run out because I do use these for when I make granola and some other stuff. I also ended up got buying, and we don't buy pop very often at all. So the last time I bought pop, I was pregnant with Nathaniel, and I desperately wanted Canada Dry, like ginger ale. And this one's really yummy. It's the pomegranate one. It's so good. I've had the cranberry one too, but I've been loving the pomegranate one. It is so delicious. I like it only on top of ice. And when I put it on top of ice, oh my God, it tastes so good. And then Nelson likes Coke. Um, and if we're not going out, then we should have some at home for when he has a Coke craving or when we're barbecuing. And so that's that. So I'm going to insert the total amount that I spent here. And don't forget, oh, also in this amount, I'm also going to include the feminine hygiene products that I got, as well as I pick, was able to pick up the roll of toilet paper for one of my clients. It's more than I would normally spend, to be honest with you, because I didn't do any price matching. But I mean, it is what it is, and I don't want to be going from store to store to store because I actually don't know if they're even allowing price match right now because I know Walmart actually just ended up um, stopping all of their food, their grocery flyers. I mean, there were still deals. There were still deals, but they wanted to focus on restocking their shelves. And I totally get that. I totally get that. I really appreciate the fact that they had somebody there making sure that we're using hand sanitizer and also wiping things down. They were doing a lot more cleaning, which is great. So I am going to go ahead and put all this all away. And I want to know what you guys think of my crazy haul. I don't shop like this all the time, guys. And no, I'm not panic buying. We... I don't think I'm panic buying. I'm just prepared buying. And so this way we don't have to go out because honestly, if we stay home, I think we, I honestly feel that we can probably nip this in the bud a lot faster than if we just kind of like, oh, let's go out, let's go out, let's go out. I know we are missing our friends. I know we're missing our family. But I mean, in all honesty, we just have to do what we need to do right now to secure our future because we're not only trying to protect ourselves and I, and like, if you're young and healthy, awesome. That's great. You're probably going, if you catch it and hopefully knock on wood, you won't, but you're going to survive it. But let's say, you know, think of the elderly, think of people with like autoimmune diseases or like for me, I have asthma or um, one of my closest friends. She has CO, I think, is it COPD? It's, it's when like, anyway, she has lung issues. And so you just need to be careful and do it for the do it for them guys like just stay home find some things to do i know what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be putting all of this away and then i'm going to make dinner because my mom is hungry right Moi? thanks so much for joining us on this grocery haul It's my first grocery haul that i have gone to venture out since all the craziness has happened and i can't wait to try out some of the things that i've never done before let me know in the comments below name your top five things that are in your pantry that you must have to have a prepared pantry make sure if you're new to this channel hit that subscribe button as well as hit that little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification and i will see you in the next video love you guys stay well stay safe and wash your hands Bye. Yeah, bye bye. Bye bye. That's heavy. Be careful. Is that heavy? Yeah. Yeah.